All right, here's something really curious. Even when you don't have explicit formulae, you can still often get results from the Lagrange method. The following example has really no formulae involved, but still we're going to be able to conclude something about economics. Consider the following resource allocation problem. You've got a company and you have to spend money on both equipment and labor. Let's say that you purchase big E amount of equipment at a unit rate cost of little e. That's how much the stuff costs. You do the same thing with labor. You purchase an amount, big L, of labor at a unit rate cost of little l. And the constraint is you have some fixed production function. Call it capital P. Depends on big E, big L. That is um, your output. And that is at some constant, you have to produce so much stuff and you can allocate resources to equipment or labor as you wish, but you want to do so in a way that minimizes the cost where the cost C is obviously the amount of equipment times the cost rate for equipment plus the amount of labor times the cost rate for labor. That is little e big E plus little L big L. Now, even though I don't know what that production function is, we're going to be able to do something with Lagrange. The variables are big E, big L. Let's set DC equal to lambda times DP and work one variable at a time. Taking derivatives with respect to the amount of equipment, I get on the left hand side, little e, the equipment cost rate. On the right hand side, lambda times what? What is that? Oh, it's just the partial of P with respect to big E. Even though I don't know what that function is, I can write that down. That's a, a rate of change, a partial derivative. Now do the same thing with respect to big L. And what I will get is on the left, little l, the labor cost rate equals lambda times partial big P, partial big L. Now what we can do, take those two equations, solve for lambda, eliminate that variable, do some rearrangement, and what we get is that one over little e times dp d big E equals one over little l times dp d big L, partial derivatives in both cases. Is that it? Are we done? Yes, we're done. What this means is that when you're at the optimal cost, the marginal change in output per unit equipment equals the marginal change in output per unit labor. That's how you would interpret this formula economically. And this is the kind of statement that you would see in an economics text with a, with like a box around it, with like highlighted and people would say, well, this is a law. This is just a thing that happens, but it's not just a thing that happens. It is derivable from the Lagrange method. This is really a nice example.